Hi there booktube! My name is Cristina and welcome to my booktube channel and the reason why this intro is a little bit different is because I twisted the name of the channel a little bit and now this place is called Novel Niche. I still kept the first part of the name as per orography and because it's dear and near to my heart, it's how the channel was born, it's the name that I use for my photography and I still will be uploading every now and then some photography related content. But I wanted to give it like a more distinct name, a little bit more related to the bookish content so that people will much easily find this channel and understand that the content is actually bookish. And uh, so yeah, I went for novel niche and for me it's a great combination of something that's, that gives me an idea of openness and something new. as novel, plus novel is of course a reference to the novels, the physical books that we all love and read, and niche as a cozy little space uh, that's kind of tailor-made for you, where you can feel yourself and just... it's your niche. And in all the world niche, it's very like soft and lovely, and novel niche seemed like a perfect combo for me. So. That's the new name of the channel, but I'm sure that if you linked on this video, you're not here to know that. You're here to know about my goals for 2021, because first of all, give yourself a pat on the head, on the back, wherever you want, because we made it. We actually arrived at 2021. Boy, was it difficult and emotional and strange last year but finger crossed uh, we will see how the year was, this year will unravel and I hope that it will be much much better than the last one. Even if the last one teached us, taught us a lot and uh, it gave us the opportunity to explore a little bit more in depth our own like personality and how we face difficulties and stuff like that. But I really hope that this year will be a year of opportunities and of great things coming along. But without further ado, let me get into the reading goals that I'm setting for myself. So when I was in front of a blank page and I was ready to set my goals for 2021, I actually decided to keep it very real and to take into account the fact that I don't know what will happen this year. I don't know how it will go. I don't want to set myself to unrealistic goals. I don't want to feel the pressure, I just want to enjoy reading as it comes. So I have some goals, of course, but they are kind of affordable for me, like doable. And the very first one is, of course, the number of books that I think I will be reading. This is actually not a goal anymore because I'm not struggling to reach that number. It's pretty much a normal number for me. And this year I decided to go again, like last year, with 80 books. 80 books usually is a reasonable amount for me, um, like if I look at all of the years that <laughs> went by, and uh, since I read graphic novels, mangas, listen to audiobooks, read ebooks, physical books, it's kind of easy for me to reach that number without too much of an effort, And but still it's a little bit challenging because uh, it reminds me that I still need to prioritize my reading time sometimes because sometimes I just forget. I'm like so caught in the day that I forget to read and I want to remember that I like doing it and so I want to keep doing it. And that's the first one. So I will go with 80 books, I will set this goal on my Storygraph page and my Goodreads page. And the second goal that I have here is a recurrent one that I usually have each and every year and it really helps me like to have this idea in the background of my mind and it's I want to finish three series. And since I'm a fantasy lover, fantasy usually tend to come in series, fortunately or unfortunately, it depends on how you look at it. And I want to finish three series. It's not like a crazy number, it's still affordable, it's, uh, I don't know, like, it is a goal and it gives you a little bit of, um, 
feeling that you need to do something, but it's not something that I think that I won't be able to do by the end of the year if again, like last year, I will forget about these goals. <laughs> so yeah, I will try and finish three series. Then the next goal that I have here is something that again, I believe will happen quite naturally due to the things that I kind of preset for this upcoming year and it's I want to read three classics. The reason why I think that it will be doable more than in the past years is because at the end of this year I actually subscribed to a service that will deliver a classic at my home uh, once every month, I believe, and they are like those um, Crawford editions, but there is this beautiful edition in Italy that's going on right now, and uh, they have uh, very classical, like just outline, and the form of the book is very beautiful. And they are classics that I wanted to read, or that I never heard about, or that I already read. But it's a beautiful collection, so I want to collect them all and to slowly make my way through them. So I think that three is a reasonable number as far as classics are concerned, so I will go with three. Then again, keeping the theme of three here, I want to read three non-fiction books. And again, this is very doable for me because I enjoy reading non-fiction and usually during November I tend to read more non-fiction, of course, but even throughout the year I discovered that I enjoy listening to non-fiction, so I will for sure be able, at least I hope that I will be able, to read three non-fiction books and even more. The next goal is one with which I usually struggle a little bit more and it's that I want to read one book per language, which means that for Italian and English it will be like <laughs> no, even no fun because I usually tend to read in English or in Italian. But as far as Russian and French is concerned, I really need to put my head into it and read it. So I hope that I will be able to read at least one book in French this year. That's the major struggle, because with Russian I'm getting better and better, but French is still kind of behind. So I need to read in French this year. I hope that I will be able to. Then a big goal of mine is to try and read two big books and this time I define for myself as big book here in, for the purpose of this video a book over 600 pages because last year I read some books that were over 500 and this time I'm kind of stepping up my game and I want to try and read two books, two big books, two chunkers usually they are fantasies in my case so I want to really go into it and uh, try and see if I discover something that will become a new favorite maybe and that I was putting aside just because of its size. So again, fingers crossed, I will be able to do so. Then something else that I want to do is not a goal but kind of an overall uh, theme that I have in my mind and that I had at the, the end of the last year in the background of my mind is that I am a mood reader and uh, I want to really embrace it fully this year, because I still tend to set for myself like TBRs, I will still do it, I will have some seasonal TBRs because I enjoy doing them, but I don't want to stick with those, like, if I'm not feeling like picking up that book, I don't have to force myself, because maybe my interest well, in that moment is in a completely different direction, and why not? I am a mood reader, it is what it is. And uh, last year my reading schedule was all over the place and I arrived at the point that I was reading like 10 books at the same time, which is something that I never did in the past. And it happened because I was forcing myself to read something, but then I wanted to read something else and so I had a bunch of books started and it was mess. And I don't want it to happen anymore because reading is supposed to be fun and I'm not doing it for work. I'm not getting, gaining anything from this channel, so I really need to enjoy, relax and just go with the flow because I am a mood reader and it's perfectly fine like that. 
So these are my goals. As you may see, they are nothing like over the moon. They are nothing too difficult, too, too difficult to accomplish. I really wanted to give myself the space to explore and to enjoy the experience of reading. And I hope that you're doing the same this year, that you're setting yourself some doable goals, something that will give you like that excitement for reading, but nothing that uh, will like bring you down by the end of the year because we don't know what will happen by the end of next year. So let's do everything we can to make our lives easier and better at the beginning of this year. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you very very soon in my next video here on Novel Niche. Bye! Ciao and happy new 2021!